Good afternoon and welcome everybody. First of all, I would like to thank you all for you being here today. I'm delighted to see among you so many distinguished uh, guests from US fashion and design industry. Uh, I am Jean-Luc Margot Duclos, senior vice president of the Paris Fusion Economic Development Agency in charge of meeting and exhibition division. We are here to discuss fashion and home design trends in a city of fashion and design, which is New York, so we are very proud of that, to be here in your city. This uh, U.S. is a very important market for the French fashion and the home design trade shows and industry. I would like to thank Nelly Rodi for pro providing, this representative is just in front of me, here, thank you. Uh, for providing us uh, with the next to the first look of the inspirations and ideas, which will def define the full uh, 2012 season and also the organizer of Paris Fashion and Home Design Trade Shows. Uh, they, all that will come from France uh, to give us uh, an inevitable insight to upcoming trends. And especially our friend Etienne Cochet, I will mention him, Etienne, as the president of the Paris Capital Direction, which means in English Paris Capital Design. But before handing it over to them, I would like to say a few words about how we in Paris and working to prepare our version of the future. There will be some picture on the screen about that. As well as being a renowned and world leading romantic destination, as you know, the Paris region is a major economic center and a creative and innovative platform, an exceptional pool of creative talent. Paris has managed to parlay its creative tradition into commercial success with the establishment of companies like L'Oréal, NVMH, Ladic, Hermes, Dior, Chanel, and so and so, as you know. These are not only classic and iconic brands, but also recently modern and spare-heading transcendents. Thanks uh, to all these factors, Paris has become a major gateway to the European market and a leading trade show capital. For instance, in the fashion and home design sector, Paris hosts 42 exhibitions and over 60 events a year, with a huge proportion of international visitors and exhibitors including a large number of American businesses. Uh, Etienne uh, will detail all that points just now. Uh, these international exhibitors and attendees are welcome to uh, Paris, which is a vibrant, dynamic, and resolutely forward-looking metropolis. This picture you see on the screen shows you the Paris of tomorrow a new connected and green city based on the vision of new architecture and urbanism with a fantastic new public transportation network. You will see the network some, some, somewhere in the, in the picture, a big, big one. Uh, well, it's not now, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, ten of the most famous architects in the world, as uh, Richard Rogers, uh, Jean Nouvel, Porcel Paramas, etc., have designed their own vision of the future of Paris. They continue to work together on a common and dedicated, dedicated structure on the Greater Paris project. On the same structure, they all work are working together, actually, on the same structure. It's a very, very interesting uh, approach. The Grand Paris, the Greater Paris, offered to its 12 million inhabitants of a better life in a better city. Better life in a better city it was a theme of Shanghai Expo uh, last, uh, last year. Uh, with a new vision of its river, free main river in Paris, the same of course was and an art for the one who likes a uh, specialist you know these uh, rivers. That aims to mix transportation, activity and leisure as a real and direct connection to the sea. Le Havre Arbor will become future Paris Arbor. We will have a picture about that. You know, Paris will be Le Havre will be the harbor of Paris in the next 15 years. These projects are not a dream, in fact. Over the course of the next 15 years, the French government and the Ile-de-France region, Regional Council, Ile-de-France is the name of the Paris region, uh, will invest uh, $50 billion in these projects. 
and the first preliminary, preliminary studies will be launched before the end of this year. That the bit that the project is launched. In today's world, the creative city needs to know how to adapt and how to build the bridges among creativity, industry, and sustainable development. Paris region is determined to step up this challenge. Now, I'd like to hand it over to Etienne Toshé, the president of Paris Capital Adaptation, an umbrella organization bringing together the most important trade show held in Paris, facilitating the fashion, accessory, and home center. Thank you for your attention, Etienne. Thank you very much.